Hey guys, this is Emily Lopez, and today I want to show you the difference between an old work electrical box and a new work electrical box. Um, sometimes when you're working on wiring, when you're renovating a home and the walls aren't completely open, you're going to have areas where you need to add or change the electrical box and the drywall still there and you don't want to tear it all the way out. Sometimes like this, your drywall is torn out and you have access and you're going to use a different type of box. So today I'm going to show you two types of box and that way you'll know what to buy when you're doing your renovation project. This is a new work electrical box meaning you have access to the studs, the walls are open. If you were building a new home, doing new construction, this would be the type of box that you would be using. So a new work electrical box is just a box like this and you hit these nails in from the side onto the stud. And then there's a little bit of a spacer here that shows you how far to let it stick out for your drywall. There's a couple different types of these, but basically it's you have access and you can get around the side to mount it. So this is probably the most common type of electrical box you're going to see. However, if you come up to a situation like this, where you need to replace your box in your drywall or put a box in drywall and you of course can't get to the side to swing a hammer and hit the nail in, then you have to have another way to affix a box. So this is an old work or a retrofit electrical box. Now they're gonna install differently and I'll actually show you, I'm gonna pull this out and show you how it slides in. So. I want to show you before I put it in the wall how this works just so you can kind of get an understanding of it. So this is a retrofit or an old work electrical box. They can still be blue like this um, or any color. This was just what was in stock at my store. Um, so you're not looking for color. What you're looking for is there's no way to secure the box on the side because you have to be able to secure it from the front. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna, if this is your wall, you're gonna slide it into your wall and as you tighten these screws, these little guys flip out and as you tighten them, this pinches, this space between that space, it tightens against the drywall. So what's holding your box in place is actually the drywall that's there. So I'll slide it in and I'll show you the process on drywall, but what's happening as you look from the outside and I tighten the screw, is this is just coming up and then it's tightening to the tightness that's necessary for right here at the top and the bottom. What I have going on here was I had an electrical box. I wanted to remove the old electrical box and replace it with a new one. So I'm using the old work or retrofit electrical box. And I kind of want to show you guys why I like to switch these out when I'm doing a project. So this is the box that I took out. The way these old boxes go in is the new ones you have nails and they nail the top and the bottom into the stud. But these nails, they actually go through the box. So you have way less room inside the box to fit the components of the back of your outlet or switch and your wires all in the box. So the nails take up part of the room inside the box. On top of that, if you just hold these side by side, look how much smaller this box is than this box. So I have way more depth to work with in the new box but I also don't have the nails inside to work to have to work around. So that's the reason I like to switch them, especially in the case of what I have going on up here. This is just gonna be a light switch. So this isn't gonna have a ton of wires in it. This is a GFCI, which I'm putting in. So this house was built in the 60s. It does not have a ground. So you, you put a lot of, if you're not gonna rewire the house, you can do GFCIs as a safety feature. And this is gonna be via vanity anyway, so I have to put a GFCI here. GFCIs are thicker than a normal outlet. You don't have as much wiggle room in the outlet box. I wanna show you that. This is the outlet I took out. This is the outlet I'm putting in. So see how much more room it's gonna take up in the box? to have this in there than this. Plus I have to fit all the wires that are coming in and I have wires coming in and wires coming out because it's not the end of my line. So imagine trying to fit this in there with wires as opposed to in here. So putting the new boxes in, it takes a little bit of extra work, but it makes it easier to get everything in there nice and smooth so your boxes aren't you know, your outlets aren't sticking out of your box and janky. 
So this is why I like to switch to the new ones because this, of course, fit in there a lot easier, but you need a little bit more room as you move on to the modern stuff. I am able to fit my hand back here and feed my wires through the box to finish wiring this light switch. If you did not have access and this was a solid piece of wallboard you were working with, make sure before you tighten and attach this, you have fed your wires through where you want them to come through because otherwise you're gonna have to take this off, put the wires on, pull them through. So keep that in mind if you don't have access to feed the wires before you attach this and as always make sure that the power is off and you have tested it with an electrical tester before you do any electrical work thank you guys for watching this video i hope it was helpful now you know when to use new work electrical boxes or old work slash retrofit electrical boxes and you know you have a nice tool in your back pocket when you're doing a renovation or a small project and you're not tearing uh drywall out or demoing down to the studs these retrofit boxes will save you a ton of time as always i super super appreciate you watching my video um please if you don't already subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe to it i'm up to 93 followers trying to get to 100 Woo! so please share my videos share my channel with your friends if you're watching and you're not subscribed please subscribe um give a thumbs up a like anything like that helps my analytics i'm pretty sure on youtube um I hope this was helpful. Please let me know what you guys want to see next. If you're not comfortable with an electrical project, do not do it without speaking with a professional. There's lots of small things you can DIY, but if you're not comfortable, don't do it. Only do projects you're comfortable and confident in. Um, as always, thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to check this out. And I hope it was helpful to all of you. And I hope you have a beautiful day. See ya.